This man caught the biggest smallmouth ever and nearly got screwed out of a world record. Hold on to your horses because this story gets pretty wild. In 1955, David Hayes was fishing Dale Hollow. That's when he hooked the fish of a lifetime. When he opened his cooler at a gas station to show one of the workers. That worker nearly shit himself and ran inside to weigh the fish. They told David he had just caught the world record and he thought they were joking. But when he realized they were serious, he rushed to Cedar Hill Resort who had certified scales. There they confirmed the world record weight, which should have been the end of the story. But 41 years later, shit starts to go down. In 1996, David displays his fish at an outdoor show where jealous weight experts question the validity of the fish. I mean, it's not his fault that his taxidermist sucked. But during an investigation, they uncover a highly questionable affidavit where Cedar Hill workers claim to have stuffed the fish with weights. So the IGFA strips David of the world record. So in 2005, Bassmaster launches their own investigation. They uncover that the workers that claim to have stuffed the fish with weights had a bone to pick with Cedar Hill Resort. John Barlow, the alleged weight stuffer, was fired weeks before the fish was even weighed. Raymond Barlow, who submitted the affidavit, worked at Hollow Marina, a direct 